Hey, so we are headed to Eugene, Oregon. Uh, that's where we grew up, and we thought we'd just show you around um, some cool places. We don't actually know where we're gonna go yet, so we'll figure that out on the drive, but uh, it'll be good. It's about an hour drive from Salem, so see you in an hour. We just got to Vero Coffee. I have to really pee, so this is real quick, but this is the house and we've never been here. So we'll try the coffee, see how it is. So this is inside the house. Uh, it's super cute. I love it, except for the fact that it's full, which is a good sign. But there's nowhere for us to sit. <laughs> so we'll sit outside. Okay, so we just got our stuff, and because there was no seats originally inside, we were sitting outside in the cold. And then I grabbed this table, and then Alina, what happened? I was gonna try to be a server and grab all the plates and everything, but I probably looked like I was struggling. So um, there was a guy that was walking his dog, and he was like, Do you need help? And I was like, so moved by his kindness and I was like sure but then I saw my sister was coming to help but I am just so impressed by people's kindness here compared to Southern California <laughs> all right so how is it it's good I got an Americano and some banana bread what'd you get I got uh, a latte with almond milk and a little slice of pumpkin bread. Oh. <laughs> so this is downtown Eugene and we used to walk these streets. Well, I probably did more than my <laughs> sister did, but yeah. um there's sizzle pie. This is sizzle pie, a famous is it Oregon based? I think so? I think so. But, but Voodoo Donuts is around the corner. So here's the thing. If you're going to come to Oregon and get Voodoo Donuts, I recommend that you go to the one in Eugene because there's never a line. The Portland one is super long. It's a super long wait. But not in Eugene. You can just walk right in. But make sure you bring cash because they don't take cards. <laughs> so there's that. Oh, also, if you go late at night to Voodoo Donuts, then they can give you their leftover donuts. It's like a bucket. It's a bucket. Full of like a paint 10 gallon bucket of donuts. Yeah. One night we came and they were closed and then they noticed us so they, they're like, hey, did you come to get donuts? And we're like, yes. And they're like, here, you can have these. Mm -hmm. And we're like, what? So, and then we gave them out to the homeless. Yeah, we started giving them out to <laughs> random people. Because we're good Samaritans. Exactly. But people were sketched out. <laughs> yeah, we kept telling them we didn't lace anything. They weren't. <laughs> we didn't put anything weird in them. But we kind of looked ho like hobos that day. I don't remember. Anyways, okay, so this area right here, Skoon, this is where the Saturday, mar Saturday market happens. That's in the like courthouse. Spring and summer. So 8th and Oak in Eugene, Oregon. If you want to come to the Saturday market, they have like a drum circle right there. And they're selling pipes <laughs> and bongs and they use random objects to make music. It's where Woodstock could have, should have happened. Where all of them <laughs> came after Woodstock happened. Well, the people that went to Woodstock probably come to the Saturday market. Yeah, this is where they reminisce about that big event in Woodstock. So, if you're into that kind of thing... Eugene, Oregon is the place to go for you. We are at Buffalo Exchange. This is a uh, thrift store where they only buy brand names. They're actually not a thrift store, so. Well, oh, they, would they be offended if I called? No, no, no. But people call us a thrift store, but it's definitely not. What is it? They're just picky about everything. <laughs> Alina kept trying to get hired here. Hi. But she was never good enough. She never had the right style, even though I personally thought she did. So I don't know what's been wrong with them. They're just whack. They're whack around here. 
We have a lot of trendy things. This brings me back to 2008, 2010. These are cute. Some red, some red high waisters. Yeah, Linen. but they they'd be way too long on me. Yeah, we're short. We have a lot of good stuff. Just you know, more than I want to spend. Well, that lasted like five minutes. It was good uh, reminisce, but I don't got money to be spending. She doesn't have room in her suitcase, so. We're just gonna walk around. <laughs> so this right here is Fifth Street Market. Um, if you're fancy and that's your vibe, this is the place to go. It's got a pretty little fountain. It's got a hotel. It's got like a lot of like different cultured stores. So like if you're all about culture as well, there's different types of food and little shops from places from around the world. So this is for like classy people. The fountain. And then there's like an eatery there with all the food. There's a hotel. This is the store made in Oregon, so everything in here has been made in Oregon. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, like pine. Mm. Pine, I love jewelry. I wish you could smell this place. It smells so good. It's all the Oregon duck stuff over there. University of Oregon, very prideful about their University of Oregon. Some Euphoria chocolate, it's famous chocolate made here in, in Eugene. Wine sampler, ooh. So all this Sasquatch stuff. If you believe in Sasquatch, you need to come to Oregon and find them. More of uh, Fifth Street Market. Quite beautiful. This is the eatery. They have a bunch of food here too. Except for it's dead. There's no one here. And there's no one serving food. I guess so. <laughs> Anyways, um, we don't know what to do. Well, we're going to another coffee so shop. So we decided to go to another coffee shop, get more caffeinated, let our hearts start pumping again. Um, but it, uh, it's called Farmer's Union. It's literally down the street from Buffalo Exchange. So we're walking there right now. And then we'll probably see what's next but uh i have nothing else to say for now here we are it's okay. oh it's warm it's so cold carpets oh yes this is a sweet store we just found it as we were walking, and it's called Street Vintage, and it's got so many cool things. Oh. It's an interesting sculpture. <laughs> so Lena bought some earrings at uh, Street Vintage. They were cool, right? You just did. You just did it. Mm -hmm. You're like Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to me, because I got no Christmas presents technically. I mean, I got money, so 
I bought those for myself for Christmas. From mom. From mom. And I mean, it was from my own bank account, but it there them by them giving me money, it saves me money to spend more money. of my bank account money. <laughs> That's my logic. Well, it makes sense. It's it's you got to decide what you wanted from them for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. So we just made it up Skinner's Butte, which is the lookout place of Eugene. But it feels kind of sketchy. Uh, Everybody's uh, rap music is uh Literally everyone's <laughs> rap music is blasting. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Everyone seems a little scary. <laughs> but we'll just enjoy this for a few minutes. There's a trail up here. So if you feel daring, come up here, but be careful. Hear the bass? Ho, 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 sweetheart. It's an inside joke. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> we just came to Hawaiian time for dinner. It's my favorite Hawaiian food but we came in, there was no one. Now everyone's in line. I always say that's our favor with God and man to remind myself that the Lord is giving me favor in that specific area. But we're at Hawaiian time. So good, my favorite. So we came, oh, my food. Thank you. Yes, got my food. My favorite. Uh, gotta get forks, forks. Well, we made it home. I hope you enjoyed our little adventure to Eugene, Oregon. Um, so like this video if you liked it obviously and comment if you have any questions or want to say anything about it it really helps my channel and i will see you guys in another video bye <laughs>